I'm literally addicted to matcha. Hello guys, I thought I would do a wishful thinking, most anticipated books I would like to read in the month of August. Um, let's just say I've been in a really bad reading slump, so mm, I would like to get these books read, but it's just probably not going to happen. So far this month, I've read the book Founded on Goodbye by Kat Singleton. I really enjoyed it. It was like a rock star romance and it was just such a fast read, so I got done in like two days so that was great considering I haven't read a book so fast in so long so I want to finish that series. The next two books in the series is Founded on Temptation and Founded on Deception so I'm really excited. I would really like to read The Summer of Broken Rules. I was going to read this like a month ago, two months ago. I started it and then I didn't get nowhere but I hear a lot of people love it and I really want to get into it. And the cover is beautiful, so I'm really excited for this. I haven't even really read any summer books yet, so now that I think about it, so I would really like to read this book. Red, White, and Royal Blue is another one that has been on my shelf forever. I keep putting it off and I really just want to just get it done and read it. Considering the movie's coming out soon and I'm really excited for it, I really want to read it first. Another book to film adaption that I really want to read is The Spanish Love Deception. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I've been wanting to read it for so long, but it just hasn't happened. I literally have a problem. Like literally like I'll have a whole bunch of books on my shelf and I don't read them. And then I'll go get a brand new book that just released and I'll read that instead. Obviously I've been meaning to start the Addicted series slash Cowboy Sisters. Mm, it's been put on the back burner because the series is so long. Like there's 10 books. And I know everyone loves them and I've been meaning to read them, but I've just been putting them off. I've been in like a, like a standalone era, like most series. I just like, oh, I don't feel like reading a series right now. I just want to read like a standalone or like interconnected standalones where I can read them with the series if I want to or just go into another book. But my friend sent me like the first six books in the series and she wants me to start them so badly. So I really need to. I finally got from Luke Hub with Love by Mariana Zapata like a few months ago. I've been wanting to read it forever. Um, I'm obsessed with anything to do with figure skating. Like I love like all the figure skating movies, like Cutting Edge and everything. I really want to read this book and Enemies to Lovers. It just sounds amazing. But her books are really thick. I've known her books to be like a slow burn. So I've been putting it off, but hopefully I can read it. Okay, so another book that I'm excited about is Help Me Remember by Corrine Michaels. This book was sent to me and I'm so intrigued. It's like a small town romance, brother's best friend. There's memory loss involved and it sounds like it's like really suspenseful and I'm like really excited for this one. So I can't wait to read this one. Another series that I want to read is The Twisted Series by Anna Huang. Everyone's raving about these books. And so I got them like a few months ago. They've just been sitting on my shelf though because I have not been reading series, like I said, but I really want to read them because everyone's hyping them up. And then I would definitely like to get the fourth book in the series because I'm obsessed with the special edition covers. So I cannot wait to get the fourth one. Another book I would like to read is Before We Were Strangers. This is another book that I started, got 20 pages in, and then put it off to the side because I wanted to read something else. So yeah, I would like to read this book. I've heard nothing but good things. And I'm excited because it's like a second chance of love and I love books like this. So this book has been on my shelf for so long and I've just put it off. I feel like nobody really talks about this book. This is Without Merit by Colin Hoover. I haven't read a Colin Hoover book in a long time, so I'm thinking of reading this book. I heard it's pretty good. It's different than the other ones. I'm definitely thinking about reading this book this month. Another series that I have been putting off is the Stay With Me series by Nicole Fiorina. I hope I didn't butcher her name. I've had the books for a long time and everyone says they're so good and I really want to read them, but the slump has been horrid. <laughs> Another book I would like to read is The Mixtape by Brittany Cherry. I'm obsessed with Brittany Cherry's books. I've read like eight of her books, I'm pretty sure. I've never been disappointed by any of them, so I would really like to read that book. Another book that I've been putting off, I don't have my copy of it, I'm letting somebody borrow it, 
but is Hooked, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. I liked the first one a lot, but I've heard the second one is way better, but I've just it's just been put on the back burner. I would like to read that one. Probably won't happen. Another book that I've seen all over like book talk and bookstagram is Blind Side by Candy Steiner. I'm a sucker for a sports romance and has fake dating, so that's literally like right up my alley. I haven't read thrillers in a long time, but I'm obsessed with watching them and everything. And I have a few, but I would like to read, let me see if I can find it, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, a book that I've had for a long time. I've heard great things about this series, and I think there's like already three books available to read, but I've put it off for so long, but literally I'm so obsessed with watching horror and thriller movies. I should have read this a long time ago. I heard it gives you like how to get away with murder vibes. I'm obsessed already because I love that show and I'm like obsessed with like criminal minds and stuff so I feel like this would definitely be up my alley. I probably won't get to it because I always go back to my romance books but I think it'd be nice to add to the list. Like I said this is very wishful thinking. This is like 12 books here and I literally haven't read. I don't even remember. I think it was like last year. I was like on a roll. Like I was reading books so fast. Like one month I read like 20 or 30 books in one month and i was even like wow <laughs> but no i haven't read a lot of books lately it's only been like i don't know like two books three books but i mean i guess i could challenge myself and attempt to read these books and it would help knock off some of my like physical tbr because i have so many physical books that need to be read and i really would like to read them before i buy any more books I feel like most of those I'll probably end up reading on my Kindle, not even gonna lie, like I'll read a little bit in my books, but most of the time I do like to annotate my books and stuff, so usually I like to read on my Kindle, highlight the stuff that I want on my Kindle, and then I will go over to my physical books and then go back and annotate them, so I might do that, I don't know yet. I'm also thinking about doing an annotation video and show you guys like how I annotate my books because I always like watching those videos and I think they're so neat to show how people personalize their books and everything. That would be a cool idea. Probably 60%, 70% of the books on that shelf literally need to be read, which is really sad. Mm, is this justifying? Probably. I feel like reading books is a hobby and then buying books is like a whole other hobby, you know? And it's like, it's a very addicting hobby. If you guys like this video, Give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching.